The transition element in Vue is one of the most common ways to add animations into your Vue app. And while it's great when we're adding and removing content, there's another built-in Vue feature that's even better for rendering lists. And that's a transition group, which is really similar to transition, but is specifically designed for animating lists. It lets us animate the insertion, removal, and order change when new elements are added to a list. And if you haven't worked with Vue transitions before, here's a quick rundown. The transition element is a wrapper that helps you add transition functionality to your elements. Essentially, it sets up different hooks and adds classes to your changing elements so we can style them throughout the different stages of the transition. And there's six different transition stages, three for entering and three for leaving. There's V enter from and V leave from, which is the quote unquote start state of the transition. There's V enter active and V leave active, which are classes that are added while your transition's active. And there's V enter to and V leave to which is the end state of the transition. And these are just Vue's default names. It's a best practice to give our transition elements a name attribute, and then the format of the classes will replace the V with the name of our transition. In these classes, we can use CSS transitions to change the opacity, position, anything that we want to really create a smooth transition. All right, I know that was quick, but I've written a full article on Vue transitions, and you can find the link to that below. But let's move on and take a look at transition group. And this supports the same props, CSS transition classes, and JavaScript hook listeners as transition. But there are a few differences. And I think the most important one is that elements inside our transition group are always required to have a unique key attribute. And then another important difference is that with transition group, we get access to another transition class. And that's vMove. And it's applied to an individual element when its position inside of our list changes. So let's take a look at how to build our example. We'll first set up our component without any transitions, and then we'll go through and add them. So for this example, I'm trying to create an invite list for my birthday party. So I want a way to add people to the list and also remove them. So first let's create our invite list by importing ref and then creating a const called invite list that's equal to a ref with an array of a bunch of my friends' names. And we also want to create a ref called name input and set it equal to an empty string. Let's create our h1 and then a form area. We'll create an input with a type of text, a placeholder of name, and a v model to our name input, and then a button with a type of submit. And when our form is submitted, which is captured through this at submit event, let's call a method called invite. We'll create that in our script. And first it will take our event and prevent the default action so our page doesn't reload. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's add the new value to the top of our invite list by saying invite list.value.unshift and then passing in name input.value. Finally, let's just reset name input to an empty string. And now let's actually go ahead and render our list by creating an unordered list and then creating list items that get the name and index from our invite list and have a key of name. Inside, we want to create a button with an X inside. And when it's clicked, we want to call a method called uninvite and then pass in our current index. And after our button, let's just print out the name of the person we're inviting. And then the last piece of functionality is actually implementing uninvite. And this is pretty easy. We can say const uninvite and it accepts the index of the person we want to uninvite and using splice, we can say invite list of value dot splice, get our current index, and then remove that one element. So that's our code without using transitions. And if we look at it, it functions the way we'd expect, but we can use transitions to make it look a little bit nicer. This is really easy, and we don't have to import anything because transition group is built in a view. So let's go to our code. Instead of our unordered list, let's replace it with a transition group. And by default, transition group does not render a wrapper element. So if we wanted to, we can specify an attribute called tag and set it to unordered list. And this means that when our DOM compiles, it'll render an unordered list with our list items inside. And then finally, similar to the normal transition, we want to give a name to our transition group and we'll call it list. And then from here, it's pretty similar to the normal transition. We want to go down to our styles and we want to create two different states. We first want to say dot list enter active and dot list leave active. And here we want to say transition all 0.5 seconds and then ease. Then the second one we want to specify is the state that we're either going to enter from or that each list item will leave to. So for this, we can say dot list enter from and dot list leave to. And for our example, we're just going to set the opacity to zero and then we'll make it move to the left by saying transform translate X negative 50 pixels. And if we look at this, that little bit of styling did a lot. Now, whenever we add someone, their name will fade in and come from left to right. And when we uninvite them, let's say my friend Kat did something annoying, it'll fade out and move from right to left. 
So, so far, all of this could have been done with normal transitions. But the beauty of transition group is that extra move class. So right now, when we remove someone from the list, the items below it will wait for it to transition out and then we'll jump up. But let's say we want all those items to smoothly transition and fill the spot. First, we just want to add dot list move before our list interactive class. And this will make them smoothly transition up. And finally, when something in our list is leaving, we want to take it out of our layout flow so that the rest of the moving animations can be calculated correctly. And to achieve this, we want to target only the list leave active class and set the position to absolute. And that's all the code. If we uninvite someone, not only will it smoothly transition out, but the rest of its items will smoothly go up instead of just abruptly jumping. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content. Happy coding.